Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. Coca-Cola, there's magic when we cheer together. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again, welcome to the latest edition of the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel and man, I'm excited because we have a ton of great stuff to talk about today. Let's start with men's basketball. A couple big home wins for Carolina. Started Tuesday night against Boston College. Kind of a slugfest, slow it down type of game. Carolina able to prevail 72-64. Then on Saturday, old rivals NC State came on over. 243rd meeting between the Pack and the Heels. Carolina wins it 80-69. RJ Davis with 26 points. Armando Baycott becomes Carolina's all-time leading rebounder and leader in double doubles in the game so a bunch of great stuff to show you from that plus a couple of big women's basketball wins here as of late Tariel's beating state and Duke in Carmichael will have highlights from both those wins plus Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with one of the stars of the women's team Deja Kelly had a great conversation with Deja earlier in the week as well but let's start Smith Center Saturday afternoon NC State Carolina gets the win. Also, in the middle of all these highlights, we're going to show you the 1993 team was back and honored at halftime. Somehow it's been 30 years since that national championship. So you'll see some of that as well. Thanks for being with us here on the Carolina Insider. Leakey backing in against Smith. Crosses the court to Nance, open for three. Count it! Really physical defense. Davis against Joyner on the perimeter. And forces a turnover as the pass was errant. Leaky Black out of there with it with the run out finish. Threw it down with two hands. Joyner just couldn't get away from Davis. Looked like he was going to cock the three. Didn't do it. Goes back middle of the floor to R.J. Davis. Now Davis is going to pull up. For three. Give it to him. And the ball is still being kicked around. Carolina gets it back. R.J. Davis. Oh, my goodness. He banked it in from nearly half court. He had to go get the loose ball, and he banked it in. 26-25, Carolina by a point with the basketball. Tough backdoor, Baycott to Davis for two more. And that's how you soften up that pressure we were talking about. We talked about how he pitches over to Washington, right back to Love. That three is in. Oh, my gracious. It was a curveball in the air and found its way through the net. Carolina took 13 free throws in the first half. Quick inbounds to Baycott, goes right around Burns and lays it in with the left hand. Nance goes behind the back with the dribble, bounce pass in the post to Baycott, goes up hard and is able to score off the glass from the left into the hands of Baycott. 47-44. Love, or excuse me, Davis crossover goes to the cup for two more. It's cut off there, needs some help, finds Nance, still 12 on the shot clock. Nance with the drive and the left-handed finish, hello! Goes behind the back, trying to work by Morcell, pivots in the paint, finds a cutting black for the easy two, the dish and the finish. Gets it into Baycott in heavy traffic, and he muscles it up through the defense for two. Cross court, little high to Love. Love able to elevate to get it. Drives left baseline, his floater, teardrop good on the baseline. Hard fought ball game in the Smith Center today, but behind 26 points from R.J. Davis, 23 points and 18 boards from Armando Baycott. The Tar Heels beat State 80-69. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor, and please join Carolina Athletics in thanking these men and women for their contribution to the history and tradition of the greatest family in all of college basketball. Welcome home, the 93 national champions of the University of North Carolina. I'm not gonna believe this, girl. I did it. Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry. I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it. Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing.
need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison and Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. <sighs> We got freedom, we got power, we got future. So let's drive up and make the future we want to see together. Because your new Ford vehicle is just the start of a journey. So stop by your Ford dealer today and choose one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs ready for delivery. We've been building this country for 119 years, but we're just getting started. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. You know, I said to you guys before that one of the greatest feelings as a coach is to know what a player or a team, what they're, you know, what they're bringing to the table every day. And for Armando, that's what I have in him. Every day at practice, shoot around, game, you know that he's going to give his best on both ends of the floor uh, for himself, for the team, for this program, um, and for him to pass um, Tyler Hansbro and uh, Billy Cunningham for the all times uh, double doubles and points and rebounds. That's just, um, just unbelievable. He's a fantastic player. He's one of the best players in Carolina history, and I'm just really, really proud of him. You know, we talked about after playing Boston College that 29 threes was just too much. Um, at the beginning of the game, I thought we took too many quick threes. I love threes, and um, I do. Um, but, you know, we're the best in the conference in terms of getting to the free throw line. And currently right now, NC State is the worst at putting people at the free throw line. So, um you know, going into the game, it was important for us to attack the basket through post of penetration. And, you know, after that first six or seven minutes in the first first half, I thought we did a better job of putting our head down, penetrating, getting to the free throw line. We got into the penalty. And why I like it is not only getting them in foul trouble, not only do we get to the free throw line, we're a good free throw shooting team. So it was a great way for us to catch back up and to be able to score and extend the lead. So with the win over NC State, Carolina improved to 14 and six on the season, six and three in conference play. But that wasn't the only action for the guys this week. Earlier in the week, Tar Heels welcomed Boston College to the Smith Center, only meeting of the regular season scheduled between the Tar Heels and Eagles. What necessarily a pretty game, but the outcome the Tar Heels wanted, winning by eight. Let's see some of the highlights. Here come the Tar Heels on the break the other way. R.J. Davis in the middle of the paint, kicks it out to a trailing Nance for three, count it. That's a long stretch without a break, and Puff Johnson is going to get Armando Baycott when, at the whistle, but Armando is gassed, and Post beat him right Ooh. down, although he just went into the middle around Post again, and this time finishes with a two-hand flush. He gives it to R.J. Davis. Tar Heels up 15-10, Davis to Black, deep on the left wing, thought about it, took it, and made it. Well, he was really deep. R.J. Davis, pump fake for three. Dribbles to the right sideline. Now he's going to take a three. And boy, that was tough. Nothing but net against the heels. Nance out to Dunn. He's not going to have a better look for three, and he switches it home. Carolina by six. Love flips it to Baycott. Right back to Love back door, and he's able to coax the layup home left side. 
Well, we'll see if that can get the lid off the uh, basket for Love. Cut off by Zachary. Reverses course, fires up a three behind the screen of Baycott and switches it home. They both played well. The two big guys post almost fouled, showing on a screen. R.J. Davis just wraps around it and drops in the triple. Good hustle by Love defensively. Rebound to Leaky Black. Carolina gets it ahead to R.J. Davis. Pump take for three. Now we'll take it and strip it home. Shot clock down to 12 as DeMarco Dunn has it. Now right back to Davis. Crossover, step back. R.J. Gracious. Even if he makes a few, they figure it's the least of the evils. Baycott fouled on the right baseline, hooks it in, and he'll have a chance for three. Baycott back in. Leaves it for Love. He's going to try a step back. Three knocked it in from the top right. Kicks it out to Zachary. Almost got out of bounds. Zachary recovers. Runs into Love. It's going to be a charge. Love moved his feet. Bickerstaff has to save it at the baseline, but he does so to Black. Ahead to Love for the reverse slam. Love with the two-handed finish makes it a 10-point lead, and it's an offensive foul on the other side. Kind of a strange ending there to the game. It was tight, it was tight, it was tight. Then there was a burst of action. It wasn't tight, and then BC just decided, all right, let's go home. Dario's end up holding on 72-64. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got freedom. We got power. We got future. So let's drive up and make the future we want to see together. Because your new Ford vehicle is just the start of a journey. So stop by your Ford dealer today and choose one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs ready for delivery. We've been building this country for 119 years, but we're just getting started. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry. I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it. Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Thanks for being here on the Carolina Insider. We've talked a bunch of men's basketball. The guys now winners of three straight and nine of their last 11. The women are playing really well as well. We're going to show you some highlights of some recent victories coming up in just a little bit. But before that, Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with one of the stars of the women's team, Deja Kelly. Deja with a particularly big game in the win over Duke here recently. Let's get back to some of that conversation with Deja Kelly. Deja, thanks so much for, for being here. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for having me here. Now, you, you've got experience in this studio. You know what's going on here. Tell us a little bit about your background with this type of stuff. Yeah, so I am majoring in broadcast journalism. That's kind of been a dream of mine um, for a few years now. But uh, I just made a lot of connections, you know, just throughout 
basketball, they brought a lot of those opportunities. But um, you know, just meeting people in the industry and you know, just watching on TV, watching post-game, pre-game interviews, sidelines, commentators. Um, I haven't exactly decided which field I want to go um, as far as you know, whether it's sideline, commentating anal analysts. But um, yeah, that's something I'm pretty interested in. I love the camera. I love being in front of the camera. So hopefully I'll take y'all's jobs. Oh, well, well, that's not, <laughs> not going to be tough. It's not going to be hard. What do you like about it? Like, what, what interests you about it? I think just being able to, you know, talk sports. You know, I've, I've grown up around sports, basketball, obviously, but um, just, you know, watching, you know, how these reporters are, and analysts are able to break down, you know, basketball, sure. football, all, and I'm going to expand to different sports, but just being able to talk about something that really interests me and, um, Something that I really like doing, kind of that I already do now. I'm, I'm a coach's kid, so I'm already um, pretty analytical with, when it comes to sports. Um, so I think that's just something that I've grown to, to like. And like I said, I like being in front of the, in front of the camera. Um, so I feel like it goes together. Now, you're one of the few that's been on both sides of an interview. You have been interviewed, and you have done the interview. Yes. So what makes a good mm. interview? Mm. Hmm. Uh, questions like that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. See, well, exactly. <laughs> questions like that. You're we have to sit there and think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think just, you know, how uh, an interviewer being able to ask questions that one haven't been asked before and just really trying to get deeper into who they're interviewing and, and really just kind of, you know, get. I, I think from good interviews that I've watched, you know, really getting them to kind of come out of their shell and be emotional and kind of tell you a little bit more than what they've told maybe other um, it said in under, other interviews. I think that's that kind of makes it special. Um, so I'm trying to learn how to do that um, instead of just asking more of like the broad general questions, just trying to get, you know, deeper into to what I want to know. So we're going to have Deja's going to be crying by the end of this interview. Let's just say we will have done our job. No, let's talk a little <laughs> basketball. Uh, you guys are playing really well. Ha had the stretch right there around the holidays where I know things didn't go as well as you guys wanted. What in your mind has been important these last three or four games for some improved play? Yeah, I think, you know, just as a team, we kind of talked about, um, you know, just really buying into our own roles individually and then, mm -hmm. you know, bringing that um, together collectively. I think that that's something that we we're kind of lacking and in, in that – losing streak that we had um just you know it was kind of we were kind of just out there and it wasn't really you know everyone was really locked into what you had to do what you had to bring every game every practice in order for all of us to be successful um so we had a team meeting and we were we kind of talked about it and we all talked about what our roles are and um everyone has a pretty good idea so it was just like all right now like there has to be a shift in everyone's mentality um as to what you're going to do individually to help the team win whether it's in practice every day in games and then I think that'll that'll we'll see all of the dominoes fall you know into place um, so I think that that's kind of what's, what's been happening for us these past few games and um, it's showing are those difficult conversations to have they are um, they're difficult for me just you know being one of the leaders I think it's difficult to because you know it's, it's always hard being put in that position just because you know you have friends on the team and you also you don't want to overstep but it's like sure. you, you also are trying to get their best so I think you kind of have to put that aside and um, I think we all did in, in those team meetings and um, we just got really vulnerable with each other and we're like what we need from each other what we expect from each other what our goals are as a group um, and just really you know connecting in that way and really figuring out what the end goal is here and what what we all want together and are we all willing to you know go the extra mile do the extra work to get there and to help each other get there and if that's the case then we all need to lock in there's really no going back from there. Carolina in the game against State this past weekend, sold out crowd in Carmichael. You could almost feel the energy through the TV screen uh, watching at home. What does that do for you guys? Now, those crowds have been getting bigger and bigger here the last several years, but to have a crowd like that, what does that do for you? Yeah, it means so much because it's like, especially the gr my group, my junior class, it's like we're looking at that and we're like, this is what we built. Like, this is ours. Like, we built this from the, the year we got here. and. Um, I think that's why it's a little more special, just because, you know, I think Carolina women's basketball had a, a bit of a drop off. So when we got here, that's, that was all of our goal was to bring it back to the national map and, and just get us back to, you know, the championship talk and ACC uh, title talk and, and things like that. So I think that we're doing that and just seeing the crowd grow more and more each game and supporting us um, to have our first sellout, I think was like 
very memorable and something we'll never forget. Um, but you know, just knowing that we, that's something that we planned on doing when we got here and now we're seeing it all being built and all forming into what we kind of want it to be, um, it just makes it even more special. I'm not gonna believe this girl. I did it. Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry. I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it. Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison and Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever, and your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got freedom. We got power. We got future. So let's drive up and make the future we want to see together. Because your new Ford vehicle is just the start of a journey. So stop by your Ford dealer today and choose one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs ready for delivery. We've been building this country for 119 years, but we're just getting started. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Wrapping things up here on the Carolina Insider. Let's see some women's basketball highlights. The Tar Heels had gotten all the way up to number seven in the nation earlier in the year, then hit a bit of a speed bump, lost four in a row. But man, they have really recovered some huge wins over highly ranked teams here as of late, including Notre Dame, NC State and Duke. Those wins over the pack and the Devils have come within the last week. We wanted to show you some of those highlights of those victories. She's the engine for this program. Dave Wilson goes out to Jesus, comes in, and a nice play for Anya Poole. So five turnovers, pardon me, for Duke, and no points. Nice, Usby finding Poole. She has scored the last eight points for Duke. Kelly. Speaking of needing to get going, 0 for 6 from the floor in the first half. So she goes coast to coast. Shot clock winding down. Todd Williams elevates. Got it! Shot clock again winding down. Paris, the freshman, top shot, and it goes in. Brown didn't even look to shoot. And look who did it. Usby all the way. Kelly, that's nice. Usby had a terrific third quarter with 12 points. Gives it up and the bucket. Kelly, Usby, Todd Williams. Yeah, they don't need to foul now. They need to play this out and get a stop. Kelly, all the way to the bucket and gets it. And the Blue Devils. Go down for only the second time this season, and they are no longer unbeaten in the ACC. 
Husby with another rebound. Back out for Hodgson. Yes! You've got to have a short memory, was right. If you put in the reps, then you can't lose your confidence. On target. Here's Kelly in the open floor. Hodgson with a long one. Got it! The triple on target. A great move on the baseline. How about the scoop shot by Kennedy Todd Williams? What a play! That is a big time move. Look at the, look at the spacing by the Tar Heels. They find Perez. Yes! And a sweet three. Wants to make a move. Kelly on the drive, pull up high. Got it! The final shot of the first half. And one of the great players in college basketball, Deja Kelly, absolutely drained it. I think people sometimes forget Diamond as a freshman as Hodgkins hits her third triple. And a fight for the rebound. Adams came away with it. Really battling underneath. Todd Williams got it from three-point land in the fourth. But she can match up with River Baldwin. There's a steal. Todd Williams draws a foul. Leaves it up and in. Shot clock to five. Here's Adams again. She had it. North Carolina wins it 56 to 47 here this afternoon at Carmichael. That'll do it for us here on the Carolina Insider. We're back next week. A little bit of a slower week for men's basketball. Just one game. It's a tough one. They're on the road at Syracuse Tuesday night at 9 o'clock. We'll have highlights of that, but then the heels off next weekend. We'll have highlights of that game against the Orange and more next week on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heels Sports Properties, a property of Learfield.